Screen Magnifier Demo with Grant. My name's Grant and I'm the Regional Client Services Manager here at Vision Australia. I tend to use Windows built-in one, Windows Magnifier. I just find it has the least, least number of overheads where some of the other programs are very demanding on the resources on the computer. I also use a typically use a large screen. So I find that it's really overwhelming. There's just so much glare. So personally, I invert the colors, which means I then have a black background with white writing or yellow writing or something. But basically, uh, it reduces the glare. Um, and you can also use um, screen focus. So you keep the screen roughly where you're typing or where your mouse pointer is. So for me, I just go into Windows Magnifier and I would typically reverse the colors at the moment, the, the colors are as they were, but I would typically reverse them um, and which does pretty ordinary things to people's photos. So often you have to go back to not inverting but it just means all the writing for me is much easier to read because it's black background, obviously, um, with the contrasting writing here. And I guess if I go into what my settings are, I'm on, what, 300% at the moment is the, um, the amount that I magnify. But I do change that quite often depending on the text size that I'm working with. With using a screen magnifier, uh, I have to have it magnified <clears throat> to a point that I can read the, the text. So... Down here, we're looking at about 300% magnified, so I can read um, the text that's below the um, the main heading. Now, as you can see, I'm only seeing a very small portion of this screen. So beyond what I'm seeing now, because it's a brand new page to me, I would have to then go looking around to try and get a bit of a feel for what's here. So I can tell it's got a main heading saying primary school years. Um, over here, I'm seeing photos and not much else. So I'll probably ignore that part. Too. So what I'm really trying to do is build a mental image of the website. I can see there's a button there about some more services. And then I'm scrolling down here and finding there's a whole lot of menus. Now, as you can see here at the moment, I've got one menu showing um, with black sort of right, black screen to the right of them. So... It's just by chance and the way this website's been done, I can tell instantly there's something else hitting me on the right hand side. So I'll now go looking over here and see what else is, is there. Um, and so I'm always looking for hints to take me to different areas and tell there's a capital K in the bottom left there. There's obviously more data below. So I'll go and look down further and there is keeping keep on growing and other options like that. So it's very much about doing that. But even now when I go left, for instance, I've got completely black screen. So it's only that I knew there was stuff before that was higher up that I go looking for it. So as you can tell, being a brand new screen and only seeing a small part, you spend a lot of time initially just working out where things are and hopefully finding what you're after. Prepared by Digital Access Vision Australia. Vision Australia. Blindness. Low vision. Opportunity. opportunity.